France stand here at the so-called business end of this terrific competition that has engrossed all of Europe. So many talking points, surprises and scope for debate. But perhaps it is the games from now on in which will really catch the imagination as we hit the knockout stage. It is time to stand tall and to be counted. And this place is living up to its reputation as one of the noisiest corners of the footballing world. No decibel spared in this collective chorus. We have already started here. France can start a counter here. Mbappe. Kamavinga. Played out wide. There really wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling final ball. France clearly didn't help themselves by telegraphing that one. It was always going to be intercepted. First quarter of an hour gone. Oh, look, this is about as tentative as it comes. Hopefully, a football match will break out soon. So Czech. They'll want to make the most of this turnover. The Czech Republic disappointing in the end there. They lack urgency. Saliba. Kamavinga. And Upamakano, Kunde. If they want to counter, they could do with more speed. Schick. Sufal. In with the challenge. Kolomuani. So check. Yeah, they were looking for a counter attack. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Kolomuani. Mbappe. Oh, that's nice. I've managed to get it away. <laughs> Oh, the ball's gone astray. Oh, good ball! Can he finish? Goal, France! The breakthrough strike! Perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare. It's, it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defence and by the time he picked up the flight of that, it was too late. France penetrate first. It is a truly precious lead. I think they've gone about their business with the opener very much in mind, and this augurs well now. Pings in across. There will be one minute added time. And that is a little undercooked. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So there we are, half-time, both teams head into their respective dressing room, and while there was a genuine flow about the game, most importantly there has been just one telling moment. It is still very tight here, the game still up for grabs, and the half-time score, 1-0. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. France head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. Well, the action has already resumed here. France going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. 
Kunde. Oh, he'd have done well to reach that. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Schick. France are ahead here by what is still the only goal. The Czech Republic showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. They're coming again and again. Spot on, Peter. Well, he certainly wasn't in the mood to take any risks. Mbappe really needed to concentrate on protecting the ball. Then again, he was being very closely marshaled. Substitution. Time then for the first substitution of the game. Well, he's someone renowned for his pace and those darting little runs, but also for being a very good ball carrier as well. They want to add more dynamism to that front line. Logic. That's good play from him. He's away. Could have been dangerous, but it came to nothing. And that has been clubbed away. Your impression so far, Jim? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. Turam, nicely spread. Well, he got rid because he was under pressure. Substitution for France. Number 10. Number 12. Eduardo Hernandez. Ball swung in. Number 20. France surely have to be commended for their drive and desire. Most teams would be taking the easier defensive route by now. Number 11. Coming on the field is number 4. He won't be happy with that one. Now it's Gignac. France have now used up all but one of their substitution windows. Fofana, 1-0 as we head towards the end. Bit of a communication breakdown there, it seems. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. France clearly should have gone for the easier pass. Now they'll have to quickly regroup. Clears it out of harm's way. And that's another good win of the ball. There will be three minutes at a time. He's tried one! And time is up. France advance. More stern tests await, no doubt. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? France can be really happy with this. I saw it as one of these defining games for them, and they showed real character to get the job done. A big statement for anyone who might be up next. My thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening. France very much with the look of a team on a mission here as we are going through the final preparations for their quarter-final game we've observed them pre-match there appears to be no sign of nerves indeed there is even an aura about them that makes you think that this is a side which knows where it is going really is quite a sight to behold this it feels like a big game it looks like a big game Mind you, they all do at this ground. 
The action has already started. There. Loose pass, and they could be in. Pass is coming off in quick succession here. Oh, it looked promising, but the final ball is just not quite right. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? I would say Jan Vertonghen. Um, whether it be a centre-back, full-back or wing-back, he's comfortable on the ball and, and likes to step up the pitch and, and take the odd risk. Um, he needed to add aggression to his game, and he has. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Turan. Belgium have a free kick. Kamavinga. Fofana. Neither side yet able to force a breakthrough here. Smoothly does it. France finding their passes. But it is clear to see that he is not at all happy with that. Clearly is miffed having made the run and not get picked out. Onana. Now it's Toku. Turam. Kolumbuari. Hernandez goes steaming forward. Now there's Kolumbuari! That's going to go a long way. Back into the middle. Turan. It's a good spell of possession, this. Mbappe! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, someone's doing his job properly, Peter, that's for sure. Mangala. Trossard. Oh, that's a key interception. Shifted upfield. Well seen. Saw that coming. Castagna. Aim forwards. Kolomuani. Now that looks a decent ball. And the first 45 minutes are up. Well, there it is, half-time. Not a bad watch by any means. And the efforts of both sides have been good, but neither have been able to penetrate. And so we reach the break, and the game remains goalless. How's the first half compared with your expectation? Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story, as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. France head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither team any further forward than they were when they started out. So we're already into the second period. France clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Debast. That'll be a throw-in. Well, they continue each to cancel the other out. Kamavinga out to the right. And that interception was most necessary. Gently done. No breakthrough and well into the second period. It is still anyone's game. Kolomuani. Hernandez. And that's been intercepted. Clears it out of harm's way. Oh, nicely intercepted. Kolomwani! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stopped. 
That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. It's about risk-taking and boldness now. Are we going to see any activity from the bench? Dubast. And Teat. Kunde. Kolomuani. Spread out to the left. Mbappe! France merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. A well cut out, no margin for error there at all. So not long left in this now. It does seem we're headed for extra time here, unless, of course, there is one last dramatic twist. And he's cleared it out of harm's way. Oh, he's bustling through here. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Well, that has not gone well. You wonder if... That... Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Substitution for Belgium. Number 10, Lukaku. Number 11, Fofana. Oh, what? It's Zinyak! And he has kept it out somehow. Yeah, he was well placed to deal with that. Yeah, and the jostling for position has begun. There's hardly any breathing space in that box. And now a sudden chance to counter. Ford shows there will be three extra minutes. Tielemans played out to the right. The 90 minutes are up, 30 more to come. Well, the scoreline may have a disappointing look about it, Peter, but that's where it ends. I think this game has had a real lively feel, and I'm not ready to give up on it yet. So all square, we need a winner, and we will be back for extra time. So hostilities have already resumed. He's shifting through the gears here. Meunier. For Mangala. De Bruyne. Played out towards the right wing. He is through here. Now, this could be a chance. Luca Bacchio. And that has sent him sprawling. Oh, that's horribly mistimed, and it's given penalty. France faced with a real prospect of letting this slip. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Zaire Emery, now that's well seen too. And it's Carrasco. Oh, no question, that's a foul. De Bruyne. Luca Bacchio. Chignac. One minute at a time. She oh, shooting chance! It's run loose, who's going to get there? Decent hit! It's loose and there's a race for the ball. Extra time reaches half-time. Yeah, it is coming down to those last 15 minutes. A truly attritional affair that has reduced both teams to near standstill. The saying goes that it only takes a moment to make a difference in this game, but you have to pose the question, is there enough left in the collective tank of either team? And the action has already restarted. They have played themselves to a near standstill. What is left in the tank now? Mangala. No, that's been intercepted. 
France are in a tearing hurry to save themselves here. All they need is one big chance, and it may do the trick. Well, the run has been sold a little bit short there. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Oh, good spread. Meunier. And it's to Bruyne. Oh, that's well spotted. So that's it. It is all over. Out at the quarterfinals, and as hopes quietly rose, so now they dip away. And anti